All right, what's going on, Jordan, everybody? DC My TD right here with Youth WBC champion Jordan Short Dog White, 130. What's going on, champ? Not much. What's going on with you, man? How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Trying to stay out the way, trying to stay safe and healthy, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Same on this end. Yeah. Yeah, last time I saw you was about a year ago, February 28th, on Tony Jettis' card. You won the WBC Youth belt. That's big. Yes, That's sir. Like almost a year, basically a year ago. Mm -hmm. Fight coming up, obviously, March 10th. You're taking on Mr. Lopez, Misael Lopez. Uh -huh. and, uh, coming famous, Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. You t you're fighting on Brandon Lee's undercard. He's actually fought in D.C. a couple of times. Uh -huh. A couple of local shows in the area. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a good friend of mine. You know, I fought actually okay. I fought him in the amateurs. He fought. Okay. We're small. He big boy now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all about the same size, right? The same height. No, same he, I think he fight like one forty, one forty seven, something like okay. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, you got a big one coming up, man. Misael Lopez. Um, you know where does he rank? What do you know? It's a TV fight, right? Just four fights. Uh, yep. It's uh, it's gonna be on TV. Yep. Showbox. <laughs> Yeah, for those who don't know, Jordan White was with Al Haynes at one point. Uh, Sam Watson knows who he is. Um, I remember you did, um, uh, I think with Javante Davis' card, they did the way his hand was. And uh, that setback was actually in Sam Watson right beside you. So, uh, Yeah, 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 I do remember that. Yeah, that was a while yeah. ago, too. Yeah, I think 2016, I think. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Got good memory, man. <laughs> yeah, I was right there when it happened. Oh yeah, I was standing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, Jordan White definitely has a lot of connections. Now you're independent now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep, now, for those who don't know, can you tell them what as to why you decide to go independent as opposed to staying with Al Heyman and Sam Watson? Um, uh, we we got our best interest for us. You know, what I mean, nobody's gonna have uh, nobody's gonna have. Uh, our best interest and in, in where we get where we want to go and how we want to go about things. So you know, um, we took it in our own hands, and ever since then we've been doing good. We we got a belt. We've been we've been fighting. Everything's been going exactly as planned. Yeah, on our terms. Right. <laughs> sure. Can you talk about your relationship with WBC? Um. Well, we we don't really have no relationship with WBC. We uh we fought a belt. We got we got a belt for them. You know um. And, and you know that was that was I was I was grateful to get a belt with WBC and have them fight for us and you know the sanction and all of that stuff. So we uh we looking to fight fight for another belt soon as we soon as possible. That's mm -hmm. all I can say about WBC. Look, give us another opportunity. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, obviously, um, Misael Lopez. What do you know about him? Is he a threat or is he um not a threat at all? Uh, we know he's a solid opponent, you know, 11 and 0, but, uh, you know how we coming, you know, you know how we, we bringing, you know, so, uh, we, we gonna go in there and show out March the 10th, scratch season, mm. like always. Uh, I don't know if you noticed. Oh yeah, I see, man, I see. Like, <laughs> man, look, I, those were some of the best shirts we ever made. We gotta get some more like that, man, for sure. Really? Yes, sir. And when, when we make them, when we make them for this fight, we, we have one for you, for sure. Okay. Now, if anybody, if people want to purchase these shirts, where can they go? Oh, man. Uh, if people want to purchase them, you know, we, we, they exclusive, man. You, you, was, you got one of them shirts because you, you know, you was, ex you exclusive. So, man, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> you got to catch them when we fight. But, um, eventually when we fight back in the DMV, we'll, uh, we'll make some more shirts and we'll get a website going and stuff like that. I want to start making some, uh, sweatsuits. So, you know, we get some sweatsuits going and, and uh, put it online, get a website going for everybody. Okay. All right. Uh, Misa Lopez, you say he's a solid opponent. Um, you know, I mean, what what does he bring to the table to you? Anything? Uh, or? A record? A good record? <laughs> yes, sir. A good record, you know, um, and, and a good record and some food on the table for me. <laughs> <laughs> will you guys be the uh, Showtime opener? Um, yeah, I think so. We will. I think we will. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna like, we gonna open this show and close it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so they gonna put you guys in the bubble? Huh? They putting you guys in the bubble? 
Yeah, we'll be in a bubble. Um, we'll be, be we'll be in a bubble soon. Okay. Real soon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When you flying out there? Um, I think we're gonna leave on the seventh, something like that. Uh, the seventh. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So what can we? So what can expect, fans expect? A uh, March tenth from Jordan Short Dog White. Man, they expect the show. All right, everybody tune in. You know, uh, from on Showbox. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a show, man. I, I feel like this is this is uh this is the time to shine in, and and I have the skills. We we developing skills. We getting stronger. We getting you know what I mean. We getting our skills together to go in the ring and and, and display everything we we should. You know, show the world where we well, why we should be here. Definitely. Now, is this your second televised fight or your third? This is my second televised fight. Let okay. Yeah. Now, obviously, your first fight on TV, you broke your right hand or your left? No, I broke my left hand. I broke my jab hand. <laughs> yeah, I broke my yeah. hand in the first round. You know, um, and I fought through it. So, you know, uh, like I said, we're we going to get back on that number two, you know. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, we'll, um, obviously, for those who don't know, you're real cool with Brandon Lee. And you also clue with uh, uh, Devin Haney. Have you spoke to Devin and uh, Bill lately? How they doing? Yeah, I talked to uh, I talked to Uncle. I talked to Unc not too long ago. He uh, messaged me on Instagram. You know, uh, him and Pops talk talk almost every day. So you know, uh, we we definitely still in still in good contact with them. They're supposed to be actually flying out to the fight and uh, watching. So you know that that'll be great. Yeah. I know you was at Devin's last fight when he fought at the MGM about yeah. two years ago. Yeah, of course, man. We always supporting our family, man. Always. Definitely. Now you're 130, Devin's 135. Um, you guys used to uh fight in amateurs or spa maybe when you we, when you guys were kids? Uh yeah, we sparred a little bit. You know, it wasn't it wasn't too much. I would when I was fighting one oh one, he was fighting one nineteen, so you know, oh. we yeah, we was always a little out of weight, but we did we did spar a little bit though. Okay, and you guys about the same size now, so I mean, would you ever consider you know spawn? I mean, uh, you know, we it, it, like I said, it's family, man. So you know, if we we helping each other, we help each other whatever way we can. That's that's how we do it, you know. But I'm sure he got more than enough spawn partners out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now obviously, it's four fights on uh, your card that you'll be fighting on. Uh, which fight was obviously you feel as though that your fight is going to still a show. What other fight on there are you um do you think will still a show behind yours? Or well, you never really um, like I said, the only only fight I know is Brandon Lee. You know, so uh, hey, you know they 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 good fighters too. So you know everybody is going to go show up how they supposed to. It's going to be a TV fight. It's a big day for everybody. So you know I hope I hope I hope they don't let me still a show, but I damn sure going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you going you trying to uh, get him up out of there? Say that again. Does that mean you gonna try to get him up out of there? Or? Always, man. That's what scratch season means. We want in there to scratch. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely. A uh, Brandon Lee is fighting. I think Samuel Tia, uh, who a guy I've seen fought one time. I don't know if you know about the um the fight night DC events. They've been thrown for thirty years. A charity event. Uh huh. They've been thrown for like thirty years in the DC area at the uh, Hilton. Hotel in uh uptown DC and they have like you know red carpet. Yeah, I've fought um, there before, yep. In Crystal really? City. No, no. No, not in Crystal City. Yeah, yeah it's in DC. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Yeah, and I did like, fight there. I fought, I fought there um an an amateur when they when the Ireland came when Ireland came over here. And we fought oh. the, you know the little um international tournament a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. send you T actually beat uh Sonny Fred Fredrickson for the US VA belt, so Okay. He's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good opponent for Brandon Lee. How do you see that fight going? I feel like Brandon Lee gonna do what he' supposed to do. He always does, you know. They, mm -hmm. yeah, they, they good. Like I said, they top tier fighters, man. So he should be. He should go in there and do everything he's supposed to. Mm -hmm. I think he, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good fight for him, though. Okay. All right. So you see Brandon uh, getting him up out of there? That's what he usually does. You know, <laughs> that's what he usually does. Look, I, I don't put no. I don't put nothing past him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't put nothing past them, man. Yeah. Now, obviously, obviously, a lot has happened, you know, since your fight. Uh, COVID kicked in literally like a month after your fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything shut down in the area and all across the world. 
and you actually just uh built you a gym or the gym has been built over the make yeah, last I'm in the gym now man yeah. yeah 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 getting ready to work out after this video okay jordan white yeah. is getting a, a, a gym built off the ground right yeah, we we built it ourselves. You know, we had uh we had some people come build the structure and then everything inside we was planned and and uh and built up ourselves. Mm. Mm. What's the name of the gym called? It's in Waldorf, right? The Dog House. That's what we call it. The Dog House. The Dog House. Okay. <laughs> so if anybody want to come work out there, are they able to do so? Or is it just for you? Well, you know, like like that shirt you got on, man. This is exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you know this is okay. exclusive man like that shirt so if you ain't you ain't got no exclusive pass then you know it's it's different but the people that know the people that know they can train here they know who they are you know okay and, and if anybody interested they can hit me on uh instagram and and we'll talk from there but you know with this covid stuff going on right now it's really hard to have people mm -hmm. coming in and training and, and jeopardizing what we got going on so you know right, that's right. basically what we're doing right now we 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 right. bubbling the the gym, so make sure right. no corona, no no none of that gets in here. Right, definitely. I talked to your dad a little bit on the phone. Um, he said you sparred a Kobe or Brady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We sparred, we sparred him a couple of times. You know that was that was good work. Uh, shout out to Kobe, man. I appreciate that. You know, appreciate the work and all the advice you gave me. It was it was great work. Mm -hmm. Great. I've been work. know Kobe. Yeah, I've been knowing Kobe for some years. Great guy. Great talent. Um, how much did you know about Kobe before him coming to your gym and sparring? Oh yeah, I knew I knew a lot, a good, a good, great deal about him. You know, I, I know he fought King Tut and you know stuff like that. So you know, it was it was good. You know, like the experience and you know how he was telling me about everything. Uh, how um, basically uh, about how boxing goes. You know how his experience came coming up, and you know it it, it definitely helped me out to you know, relate to it. I can definitely relate to what he was saying, you know, right up to, to the upbringings. Definitely. Yep. You yeah, the King tough, but I thought he was going to win until he, you know, blew his nose and it, you know, messed his eye up. But yeah, definitely thought he was in route to a victory. Yeah. We live and we learn, man. So, you know, he, yeah, he told, he told me about that too. So, you know, uh, like yeah. I said, he's still a, he's still a top contender, man. And he's Absolutely. a hell of a fighter. Yeah. Now, your fight is very interesting. Um, you know, a lot of fans like to talk about, you know, A side, B side. You know, none of that means, you know, m not much at all. But I think you're going in as the B side, Lopez the A side. But you're ranked number 20. He's ranked number 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, I, we never on the B side. I think we on the A side mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, think he, I think he's on the B side and we on the A side. That's how I think it is. No. Yeah. Now, obviously, Adrian Broner fought um, the guy he fought last week. Uh, obviously, Broner accomplished more than he did. But since the guy was undefeated, I think they put him in the red corner but called him out first and put Broner in the blue corner and called him out second. Do you think your fight is going to be in a situation like that? Man, uh, no. Nah. As long as we both get in the ring, it don't make a difference. Who get in the ring first, who get in the ring second. Right. <laughs> it ain't no audience. It ain't no nothing. So it don't matter who get in the ring first. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever fought in, Have you ever fought a fight without a crowd? Say that again. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, no, I haven't. This, every time I spar, though, it ain't no crowd. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't too much of a difference, you know. Do you think that makes it easier or not really? Uh man, a show is a show. You if you on your, if you on top of your game, it don't matter if anybody's there, nobody there, it don't, it don't matter. You know, as long as you go in there and show out. If you need people to show out, then this ain't your game. <laughs> <laughs> tell you that. Yeah. Right. What colors are you wearing fight night? Or well, you can't disclose that, right? Uh we gonna it's gonna be royal, put it that way. Keep okay. it like that. We're gonna go. We yeah. we 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 going triple G style. Okay, <laughs> Lomachenko, you know, definitely. So obviously, Kobe Abreu is one of your spawn partners. Uh, who else have you spar with to get you ready for Lopez? Oh man, we got a lot of spawn partners, man. I can sit here and tell you everybody, but you know, like I said, man, it's exclusive in here, so you know. Okay. 
shout out to everybody that you know uh, came in and helped us out with the camp and sparred with us. But yeah, it's a lot of people, man. We we work good at this camp. Okay. Now, just for the boxing fans that don't know, who have you sparred with in the past that the mainstream boxing fans and basically boxing fans would know? Just in the past. Man, I can name a lot of people, man. Like I said, I, I can name a lot of people, you know. Gary Russell, Javante Davis, you know what I mean? Rashid Warren, you know, I, I keep going. It's it, Like you yeah. said, it's years and years of sparring top-tier fighters. Yeah. So. yeah. Now, uh, the spawn partners you had get you ready for Lopez. Do you try to get them to mimic Lopez, or do you just try to get different looks, boxers, sluggers, counter punches? Nah, cause I got a I got a versatile style. You know what I mean. So we working. We not necessarily working to what what he's doing. We working to what we do best. So that's that's right. all we can do. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit. Matter of fact, you are you on Facebook? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. I want to switch gears a little bit. Still on the boxing topic. Um, I don't know if you heard about Demar Nicholson supposed to be fighting Edgar Belinga. Yeah. Uh, yeah Edgar, Edgar's a good friend of mine, and and, and Demar is definitely a good friend of mine too. That's so. That's gonna be a good fight. I'm excited to see that fight right there. Now, don't <laughs> ask me who I think gonna win. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. I don't know. I, I look. I'm rooting for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. The best man that night's gonna win. But like I said, I, I I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that fight right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. How, how your workout? How's your training been going? What have you been doing as far as training? Hitting that heavy bag, speed bag, swimming? Man, we we've been exclusive. We've been working hard. That's all. I, look, we've been working real hard, man. We've been working real hard. So mm -hmm. we got we got new. We bought new equipment. You know, we got we got stuff going on in here, man. So like I said. You, I can't give you all my bag of tricks right now, you know, and the, <laughs> let the world know what we're doing and stuff. But, yeah. no, nah, we working hard, man. This this is probably one of the best camps we ever had, man. So we we working real hard. Okay, so train a little bit harder for this fight? Oh, of course. You train harder and harder for every fight, you know. Next fight's going to be even harder. So, you know, we, mm. you know, we, le we learning from every camp that we go through. Okay. I talked to your dad yesterday. Um, I don't want to disclose it, but he said, you know, the winner will get, you know, I don't want to disclose it unless you want to, but the winner of this fight is going to get, you know. Yeah, I mean, deal, 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 go ahead, go ahead, say what you did. The deal to keep oh, fighting, a, correct, you know. Yeah, the winner will get a deal with um Lou. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Showbox. Yep, yep. That's, okay. All right, so, so what would it be like for you to get a deal with Showbox? Oh man, uh, that'd be that'd be great, man. Um, it'd be great uh, to our career, you know, and moving forward and making making stuff happen. Actually, making some real money doing this stuff, you know, and uh, making it a career. So, it's uh, it, that's what we're looking forward to, you know. Absolutely, it'd be good to see you back in the ring, March Tim Jordan. Yes, sir. If anybody want to fight? Y'all go to Showbox, March Tim. Uh, what time does it start? Eight or nine? Oh, man, I don't know. You know, they give me the information as soon as we get down. It might start around like 8 or 9, though, you know, something like yeah. that. Yep. Yep. Y'all be sure to stay tuned. March 10th, show box, 8 or 9 o'clock. Watch Jordan Short Dog White open up the show. He's going to open it and close it. Yes, sir. That's what we're looking <laughs> forward to doing. Absolutely. Any social media sites you want people to follow you at? Uh, you can follow me at Boxing Is My Life. Um, on, on Instagram. If y'all are watching, this is right there. B-O-X-I-N underscore is my life. Or you can yep. just type in Jordan White, Jordan Short Dog White, and that's where we at. All right. Y'all heard it first from the youth WBC 130-pound champion, Jordan Short Dog White. Jordan, appreciate it, Jordan. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for all the support. No problem. I'm, I got to edit this. When I edit it, I'm going to send you another link. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Thanks. Thanks to everybody that watched it live, man. I appreciate y'all.